I spend over maybe, oh, I would say 10 hours a day just sitting on one chair, editing these videos, pumping out these videos every day. So it's really important I pick the right chair. Welcome to today's video. I'm right now at a PTT station getting myself a coffee of the day from Amazon. But in today's video, I'm planning to do a bit of furniture shopping because I'm really in need for a new chair. So once we're done getting a coffee from Amazon, we're gonna head over to a place called Home Pro, which specializes in furniture. Okay, welcome to Home Pro. This is like a B&Q equivalent or home base equivalent in the UK. Here we are. This is what we need. Some chairs. These are like gaming chairs. I need a more ergonomic chair. 7,500 baht. Wow. It's a little bit pricey. I like the look of this one, but this one's 7,000 baht. Is that comfortable though? Oh, it's not. You know what? Do you know how you test a chair properly? You got it. Oh. You gotta do this. You gotta go for a spin on it. You gotta make sure if it's comfortable. It's got good wheels. It's very smooth on the floor. But this backrest isn't very comfortable. I wonder if you can adjust it. You most likely can. Or can you not? Hmm. How oh, can I? It's fixed, is it? Okay. Oh yeah, they've got more here. Nice. Whoa, what's that dude? I have been struggling to find myself an appropriate chair, an ergonomic chair that fits my needs for the longest time that I can remember. There's just nothing in Thailand that suits my needs. The only reason why I don't like these chairs is because the backrest doesn't recline, it's always like upright, fixed in position. So you can't really adjust to an optimum position that you want. You just have to stick with the position that the chair gives you. Office chairs here are priced so extortionately. The equivalent chair in the UK would cost you like 20 quid, 30 quid. I mean, it wouldn't be brand new, but you could get it second hand and in relatively pristine condition. Why don't we have a look on Facebook Marketplace? Be a scammer. Scammer? Why would they be a scammer? It's just a chair. Yeah, but you go visit the place first. Waste time? Nah. No, there's no more chairs. <laughs> there's no more chairs. Oh look, we've found a new house for you. Cute. Mr. Dallas house. You know how much? How much? 26,000 baht. So this was home pro. We couldn't find a chair for my need. So we're going to go to an index in Rama 5. living mall to see if there's any chairs that suit my needs apparently oh that is a disgusting smell from that drain <laughs> gotta watch out for drains like that in thailand really really bad smells anyway index the brand is supposed to be a little bit more classy or higher end than home pro but let's see sorry you know what, this index seems to have like a bunch of other shops. It looks like a mini shopping mall. Yeah, look, we've got Amazon Cafe here. We've got a supermarket over there called Tops Market. A bank up there, Swenson's over there, ice cream shop. I don't really know who owns what. And there's a Starbucks there too. This must be a fake coconut tree, right? Yeah, that sounds hollow. It is a charming shopping mall. Sorry? Have to ask them. What, for chairs? Yeah. Hmm. My spidey senses are tingling. And I would say we probably have to go in that direction over there. My spidey senses were correct. It's up there. They seem to have quite a few up there on display. I really need to buy a chair today. Um, I'm getting neck pains from sitting on that wooden chair. 
This is the wooden chair that I am referring to. This is where I edit every single one of my videos on these hard wooden chairs. And it's just not good for my posture and it's having long-term effects on my body. So I really need to upgrade quickly before the damage becomes irreversible. Anyway, back to the video. That wooden chair. They do look very similar to what they had at home, Pro. So the one on display here are actually available to test over there. Let's try this one out. It says, please try me, please try me. Yeah, that's like a gaming chair. Whoa! No, I don't want to move it up. I just want to fix it in position so it doesn't move like this. It's there. Whoa. Oh, yeah. This is more comfortable than that. It's more like a more springy backrest. I think the mech is more elastic. Okay, that's the height adjustment. What about the backrest? I think the backrest might be fixed on this one, you know? I think you can only adjust the height position on that one. Oh, oh, how'd you do that? Oh, you pull it out, okay. It only has two positions. Yeah. There's that position and the upright position. How much does the price tag on this one? Ha, ha, 5,990. I think this one, is in first position at the moment. How much did your chair cost? 4,000, man. What about these other things here? Nah, the lower back ain't comfortable on this one. Let me just try it out one more time. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a big difference. The moment you sit down, it feels comfortable. I want to try these gaming chairs because they seem to be everywhere, but I don't know if the quality of these gaming chairs is poor. Oh, this ain't made for tall people. Before I commit to the purchase, I must do the gliding test. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Doesn't seem very glidable. Right, I'm gonna demonstrate how I'll be working at my desk on my MacBook. The only beef I have with this chair is this bit here. You see this like middle divider bit? I feel like there's a bit of resistance on my lower back there. Right, so I found another seat, similar to the level one over there, but this one's 4,000. Yeah, 4,000 baht cheaper. So you save yourself 100 pounds. And it's 1,000 baht cheaper than the mesh one. But it has this kind of like, there's a, like a metal bar that kind of like digs into your back. And also there isn't really a recline feature. It's more like a tilt feature where like the backrest and the seat stay in position, but they just tilt backwards like that. The backrest doesn't independently move backwards. It's so hard to pick a chair because you're forking up a lot of money and it might be comfortable at this moment in time, or maybe it might be okay, but how will you know in like a week's time or two weeks time, possibly a month, whether it will be comfortable? You don't. Okay, the only way I know I'm gonna be satisfied with my choice is if I try every single seat here. So that's what I'm gonna do. Come on, chair, pop out. Rubbish, 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 maybe. Oh, I think we've exhausted our options, to be honest. Let's go with this one. I mean, it's not more comfortable than that, but I think this one will last longer, and I think ergonomically it's better. You know what, this is 5,990 baht and I'm still not completely satisfied with purchasing this chair for that price. So we're gonna go elsewhere or I'm just gonna skip and possibly leave it to another day. <sighs> now I need to go somewhere that's not a shopping mall, somewhere where they specialize in chairs. This is just all mass manufactured really and they're not gonna be ergonomic. Maybe I need to go for a Herman Miller chair but imagine the price of that. Oh. So we've left the index store and now we're looking for something to eat because all that shopping around for a chair has made us really hungry. But thankfully there's a few restaurants we can choose from. I want to eat but I don't find anything appetizing at this moment in time. Instead we're going to go for some Swensons. Woo! Oh yeah. I'm going to sleep yesterday around about five. 
6 a.m. actually. 6 a.m. Do you know what time I sleep yesterday? The previous video I uploaded was actually the condo video. The landmark at MRTA, that was it. A chocolate chip maybe? Chocolate chip. And blueberry cheesecake. Or oh, you don't want it. It's gonna come out tiny, trust me. So you shouldn't believe me when I said it'll work out small. Look at it, it's tiny. And that's like 259 baht. We just bought a pot. The big pot is like 199 baht. Look, different. Look how they have chocolate. Oh yeah, they got a bit of chocolate there as well. Look, hot chocolate. Oh, oh. Okay, where am I going for? Oh, I can't believe how small this is. These aren't normal sized scoops. These are miniature scoops. It's like an inch in diameter. Oh, but I love it. It's really nice. I think Swenson's has the best ice cream in Thailand. Alright, we've just finished up with Swenson's. Now, are we gonna do a bit of shopping or go home? They will ignore you until they can't. 